would like to just give you guys a great big shout out because you have made Portal on Google Cardboard my number one viewed video. Which is amazing because that was just, well really that was kind of just me playing around and getting the word out there that you can do this. And so I figured, um, go ahead and open this up, pause it because I don't want to play it. Um, not sure if anyone noticed, but I said I would make a tutorial in the near future. Well, it's the near future and I am making a tutorial, dang it. So here we go. Step one is going to be to download all the things, which would be Trida, which is responsible for turning 3D DirectX games into VR games. GeForce Experience, which you probably have already from downloading a um, driver for a GTX card, GTX graphics card I should say, Moonlight for Android, this is a Google Play app, and this is going to be responsible for getting what's on your computer monitor to your phone. And I accidentally turned my phone on. And then free track, which is responsible for head tracking. It's not actually needed, um, especially if you have a controller, but I do not have a controller, just a mouse. So I kind of do need it. It helps a bit with motion sickness. So once you download all of these things, download, um, download, install, and pick a device. There's me, but I don't want to show you guys that personal information. Once you have all those downloaded, install them, it'll probably take about 15 minutes. After that, you're going to want to set everything up. So while you're installing, go ahead and if you want, you can watch all the way through or you can pause the video and come back later. So for Tridef 3D, it's pretty simple. Um, You'll want to find Tridef Ignition, which is going to be in your program, or your, uh, yeah, program files, I was right. Under Tridef, and Tridef, Tridef Ignition. This is the specific app for turning games into VR. There's also in here Tridef Media Player, which 3D movies in VR, um, and other stuff. But Tridef Ignition is what you're going to be interested in. I've already added a few games here, but the process of adding a game is pretty simple. You double click here, you, you're going to say add a game manually, browse, and just find a game you want to play in 3D. So how about, I don't know, Loadout. Next. It's gonna tell you, or it's gonna try to find a driver for you, one that someone else has already made. If nobody else has made one, then you can set it up pretty quickly. So nobody's made this one, so I'm just gonna say generic. Does that not work? Ah, uh, click if your game is not on the list, and then say generic. That was just one step ahead of myself. Finish, and then there you go, there's your game. That's that, you're also going to want to make sure that you are in side-by-side -side mode, which is going to split one screen up into two different screens, which is kind of cool. Here we go. So as you can see, it's split into two, and when that's on the phone, it's going to split right down the middle. You're going to put your phone into your Google Cardboard. It doesn't go in like that, but I'll show you that later. And yeah, there's that. I don't actually want to play that yet. I'm going to open this back up later, and I'm going to say close the program because I don't care. Alright, so that's Tridef 3D Ignition. Next, you will want to go into um, GeForce Experience, which is NVIDIA's like proprietary setup software, kind of. 
So here you can see all my games. This is not what you're looking for. Drivers, you'll want to make sure you have the latest one. If you don't have the latest one, well, what are you doing? And then under my rig game stream, you'll want to check that all of this has check, 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 check. The last two are kinda, eh, not so important. And then under shield, you'll want to log in. And I will go ahead and do this. Alright, so I'm logged in. So that's good. And now it says you are logged in and ready to stream. Go to Shield Hub on your Shield device to stream games from this PC. Well, shields are expensive, but with Moonlight, which you saw earlier, and hopefully downloaded and installed, um, it's basically the same thing as a shield, except it works on any Android device. And my computer's not showing up. Add a computer. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've added my computer, I just entered the IP address manually. Can you see that? I think you can. Yeah. Added the IP address manually, now I just click on it. And by default, this list is going to be empty. I've already added my games to it. So what you're going to want to do is go into Preferences in GeForce Experience, Game Stream, and don't add the game itself, add Trida. Just drag and drop. I've already got it here, right there. So that will allow you to launch the VR game from your phone and have it streaming, because otherwise it's not going to let you stream. That's just... That's how NVIDIA's game streaming does it. So, there you go. Now, a fast phone is extremely helpful, and a good place to search for a fast phone is cpubenchmark.net has a um, sub-site for Androids, and you'll want a phone with a fast CPU. Now, all the way down here, all the way in the 1900s, or 1900s, the Galaxy S5 I have tried, it's about 11 milliseconds of latency, which is 11 milliseconds from my computer to my phone, which is really, really good, in my opinion. And then the fastest phone out there is almost 10 times as fast, so you could probably expect, like, two milliseconds of latency, which is about the same as an Oculus Rift, and it's wireless. That's really a plus. Something else I haven't mentioned is you will need a Google Cardboard. It's not a Google Hat. Dang it. Google Cardboard. Which is this thing right here. And as you can see, they're pretty cheap. If I go price low to high, and then let's see here, what's the cheapest one I can find? I can find one for... Yeah, it looks like $1.45 from eBay. So, not expensive at all. It looks like this, only a little bit less tampered with because I've destroyed mine. Not really destroyed, but it's not in very good shape. So you'll want one of those, and that's really easy to set up. And you've basically got everything now. Except for one thing, free track, which is a little complicated. So I may show that in a different video, but if you want to play around with it and get that working for yourself, you can. And I just use um, my phone's camera flash to do some head tracking with that. Which, again, I probably will make a separate video for that because it's a little complicated. Step 4 is all on the phone, and this, this is the fun part. I'm not going to show you guys my pa my password, that's kind of stupid. So you'll want to go down to try to ignition, quit current game and start, even though I, I don't have a game going, it just thinks I do. It's going to be starting the game, and here it is, and there you go, that's my desktop on the phone. 
click run because I know what this is. And now I'm gonna launch Portal. Yep, it's doing the swirly. Um, yes it did, shut up. Sometimes it screws up and says, hey, this game doesn't use DirectX, even though it does. For example, I know that Portal uses DirectX. So get that off of there. And here we go. I have it right there. Portal running in VR on an Android device. Now I'm just going to let it load for a minute, just to show you guys that this does work, and then I'll put it into the Google Cardboard. So let's do a bonus map. Advanced Chambers, why not? 13, why not? And it does also play through the phone. <laughs> the Oh, and you can also touch the screen, but I don't think you'll be doing that while it's in the headset. So there you go, everything working. I can still press my keyboard buttons as usual. You can also hook a keyboard and mouse up to your phone. But I wouldn't recommend that, just because that's extra latency that you can pretty easily avoid. And then I'm going to turn the camera to me. Hello! And I'm going to make sure the camera is actually... Nah, it probably is. I'm, I'm going to assume the camera's facing toward me. So this next part's pretty simple. There's a pretty visible line right down the middle of the screen. Just line that up with the line in the Google Cardboard, and now I'm not flipping off my Google Cardboard, I'm nicer than that. Just line it up, close it, there's Velcro on the top to make it stay in place, and there we go. So I'm looking up, I'm looking down, and I'm looking at myself. So it does work completely and totally, but there you have it. Games running in VR on an Android phone. And it also tells you latency, so, well, you missed it, but it comes up with a dialogue box down there. And mine said 58 milliseconds, which is really, really bad. That's, like, about a 25th of a second, maybe. Anyway, so the camera was not facing toward me. See my beautiful face. Alright, so, there you go done with that video. Thank you guys for watching, and I want everyone to have a great day. Bye!